And this is a story that goes back to the time when rabbits had long bushy tails. Remember the cottonwood story I told you? There are lots of stories about how rabbits used to have long bushy tails. This rabbit was so proud of his tail, he used to spread it out behind him and comb it and fluff it and take care of it. He was so proud of it, he wanted everyone to see it. So when he was eating the delicious tender grass and clover in the field, he spread his tail out behind him. And he was busy eating, Ooh, yum, 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 yum. so busy eating, he didn't hear Bobcat sneak up behind him. Bobcat snuck up and grabbed him and grabbed that rabbit and said, okay, rabbit, I'm going to eat you. And rabbit said, huh? oh, no, 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 you don't want to eat me. And Bobcat said, huh? why don't I want to eat you? You look pretty good to me. Rabbit said, but, 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 but I'm just a little small rabbit. There's not much meat on me. Wouldn't you rather eat a turkey? And Bobcat said, yeah, I'd love to eat a turkey, but they're too smart. I can't catch a turkey. I have tried. I creep up on them. They always know I'm coming, and they all fade off into the bushes, and I can't catch one. Rabbit said, but... Uh, I know a way you can catch at least one turkey, maybe maybe a couple of turkeys. It would be really easy, Bobcat said. How oh, could that be easy? They're so smart. And Rabbit said, well, all you have to do is you have to pretend to be dead. Bobcat said, dead? I want to be dead. Rabbit said, no, you just pretend to be dead. You lie out on your back with your feet in the air and you close your eyes and you open your mouth and you stick out your tongue and they'll think you're dead. Bobcat said, uh, how is that again? Rabbit said, you lie on your back with your feet in the air and you close your eyes and open your mouth and stick out your tongue. Can you do that? Don't lie, don't lie on the ground, but can you lean back with your feet in the air and your eyes closed and your mouth open and your tongue sticking out? Ew, there's a whole room full of dead bobcats. Ha, I bet it would work. So Bobcat said, well, okay, you can go, Rabbit, but I better get me some turkeys that way. So Bobcat went out in the meadow and lay down on his back with his feet in the air and his eyes closed and his mouth open and his tongue sticking out. Meanwhile, Rabbit found a flock of turkeys and said, turkeys, turkeys, oh boy, have I ever got some news. You know that Bobcat? And the turkey said, whoa. No, oh, wait, all oh, that bobcat. The bobcat is always chasing after us. Oh, 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 don't worry about it anymore. That bobcat, I got in a fight with that bobcat, and we tussled, and we rolled around, and I killed the bobcat. And the bobcat is lying out in the meadow, and he's dead. And the turkey said, Whoa, dead? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Turkeys don't say gobble, gobble. It sounds more like bloom, 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 bloom. Turkey said, bloom, bloom, bloom. Bobcat dead, Bobcat dead. Bloom, bloom, bloom. Don't believe it, no, nope. don't, don't believe it. Rabbit said, well, go see for yourself. And so the turkeys went. They went to see for themselves. And there in the field, there was Bobcat lying on his back with his feet in the air, his eyes closed, his tongue sticking out and he didn't move. And the turkey said, woo, 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 woo. maybe a bobcat is dead. Woo, 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 woo. They weren't quite sure. They cautiously got closer. Woo, 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 woo. Bobcat didn't move. Woo, 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 woo. They got closer and closer. Woo, 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 woo. They were surprised. Yes, woo, woo, woo. maybe rabbit did kill bobcat. Woo, 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 woo. 
Oh boy, if Bobcat's dead, we don't have to worry anymore. They were so happy. They began to dance around Bobcat. They danced around Bobcat. They did a victory dance. Bobcat's dead. They got closer and closer to Bobcat. Bobcat. Stay real still until the turkeys were close enough. And suddenly Bobcat jumped up and grabbed a couple of turkeys and ran off with them. And the turkeys, all the others ran off. When they calmed down and got together again, they said, they were angry. That Bobcat fooled us. He was just pretending to be dead. He got a couple of us. That rabbit. It's rabbit's fault. And they went to find rabbit. Now rabbit was out in the meadow again, eating grass and clover with his beautiful, long, fluffy tail spread out behind him. The turkeys decided they were going to catch Rabbit and beat him up and make him sorry he ever tried to trick them. So the turkeys <laughs> crept up around Rabbit. They made a circle around Rabbit. And at the last minute, their leader gave a signal and they all jumped onto where Rabbit was. But Rabbit heard them. And you know, rabbits have eyes at the sides of their heads. At the sides, that meant that they could see around and almost even in back. And so at the last minute, Rabbit saw them and ran and almost got away. Almost. Because when the turkeys jumped, they landed on Rabbit's tail. All the jerkies were on Rabbit's long bushy tail and Rabbit pulled and pulled to get away and pulled and pulled and his tail snapped off. Rabbit got away with just a little short piece of tail left like they have now. The rest of the tail, there it was. All the turkeys were landing on the tail. Oh, we got it. We got revenge on Rabbit. Ha ha, Rabbit will remember this. Ho oh, ho, no more long tail for Rabbit. We got it. They were so happy. Now they wanted to have a victory dance. And they danced holding on to the tail, all of them holding. And afterward, they wanted a souvenir, something to remember how they had taught Rabbit a lesson. Now, they couldn't maybe take turns keeping the rabbit tail, so they decided to take off some of the long hair from the rabbit tail and give a bunch to each one of the turkeys. And the turkeys fastened it on their chests to hang down as a kind of a brush. It's called a turkey beard. And if you ever see a wild turkey, at least a male wild turkey, you will notice he has a tuft of long, looks like black hair sticking out of his chest. Now, how does a feathered bird have black hair sticking out of his chest? Well, this story explains that it's a chunk of rabbit's tail that is a souvenir from how they taught rabbit a lesson not to play tricks on them anymore. And rabbit's short tail is a reminder to not trick other people just to get out of something. So that's the story of how turkeys got their beards. It's called beards, not on their chin. It's on their chest. And I bet Mr. Cawthon has found a picture online of a fine, big, male, wild turkey with a beard like that. I don't know if the farm turkeys have beards, too. You wouldn't see them because their feathers are all white. But that's something that wild turkeys have. That's the story, and it's fun to tell. You need, let me see, the characters. You need someone to be Rabbit, and you need someone to be Bobcat, and then someone to be Narrator, of course, and the rest of you can be turkeys. And the first part of the story is about how Bobcat snuck up on Rabbit and pounced and caught Rabbit. 
But Rabbit talked his way out of it by saying, wouldn't you rather have a turkey instead? And Bobcat didn't think he could ever catch a turkey because they are so smart and clever, those wild turkeys. But Rabbit said, you can fool them by playing dead. And Bobcat wasn't sure what that was. Do you remember how to play dead, be a Bobcat? On your back with your feet in the air, eyes closed, mouth open, tongue out. So when Bobcat did that, Rabbit went and told the turkeys that he had had a fight with Bobcat and killed him so dead Bobcat was sitting in the meadow. Now, did the turkeys believe that right away? They were cautious. So when you are being turkeys, you've got to make your turkey sound kind of... <laughs> But finally, Rabbit convinced them to go see for themselves. And when they went in the meadow and saw Bobcat, the turkeys, they were surprised. You make surprise turkey noises. And they went closer and closer. Sure enough, Bobcat was holding really still. So they thought Bobcat really was dead. And they went closer and closer. And they were so happy. Blah, 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 blah. Bobcat's dead. We don't have to worry about Bobcat anymore. So they did a victory dance. Blah, 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 all around Bobcat. Until Bobcat thought they were close enough. And he jumped up and grabbed a couple of them and ran off. And the others blah, 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 blah. all ran away. Well, they, when they calmed down, they decided they needed some revenge on Rabbit. There was a rabbit in the field eating clover and grass with his long tail spread out behind him. And the turkeys crept up around Rabbit. But Rabbit could see him, see them because he had eyes on the side. A park naturalist told me, Eyes in front, that's how you hunt. Bobcat has eyes in front. Eyes on the side, run and hide. Prey animals have their eyes on the side. Rabbit saw them and Rabbit ran, but not quite fast enough because the turkeys jumped and landed on Rabbit's tail. And when Rabbit pulled away, it was just a little piece of tail left. The rest of the tail was there. And the turkeys had a victory dance. <laughs> And then for souvenirs, they each took a clump of the tail hair and wore it on their chest. And that makes the turkey beard that we see now if we go to see a, a wild turkey.